in the second quarter, guys. Well, I'm sure the coaching staff let them know that, you know, we got to start this third quarter like we started the game with that kind of defensive intensity. Now, let's give you the numbers. Last three minutes, Lakers were outscored 12 to 2. They also committed three turnovers. Didn't make a field goal during that span. As Russ, you saw what his numbers were as he aims towards a triple double, and he, he utilizes the backboard. Lakers Which shot is a smart thing. Yeah, sorry, Stu. Lakers shot 55% in the second quarter after a 68% first quarter. But as Mike alluded to, the defense took it off the pedal. Well, Baisley is uh, shooting the ball from yeah, three season. Here's a look at Lou Dort. 6'4, 215. Right. And a free throw shooter. About a 70 percenter. Lots of playing time last year. The biggest lead in this game in the first half. What was it, 28? 26. 26? They cut it in half. And Russ needs some help and coming to get the basketball is DJ. Just get going here. First minute plus of the third quarter from Oklahoma City. Pull up Davis after the little fake just to create that space in the individual work in very close quarters to get it by Shea Gilgis Alexander. Favors with the basket. Up near the break this time. Oh, Davis goes up and over Baisley without, without fouling. BJ throw it down on the assist, the touch of, in, a, in a key moment last night, too. But Giddy is really running that little screen and roll pretty well. He's done it now three times in this game. And remember, he's only 19 about the first half. Got an illegal screen on DeAndre Jordan there, so turnover Lakers. It's only a 13-point game. See, they cut it in half. That's perspective. Only 13, because as you said, it was 26. Dort's going to try a three, so there you go. He has hit at least one three in every game. And all time. Yes, sir, for sure. Um, it, it's been on our blood for a long time. Um, Spencer plays overseas in Germany, which we're really proud of him. And so it's just one of those, like, you know, Austin has had that dream of, of doing this. And uh, just really appreciate the Lakers giving him the chance to. He told me that that experience, playing with his older brother, taught him a lot about just doing the things that had to be done to win because he didn't need to score as much. Do you remember? Three points, knocked down six threes. Was getting to know who he was. Westbrook. Needs OKC. They can get this in the single digits here. As I mentioned, it hasn't been that way since it was 21 13. Baisley underneath with the right hand, tips it up and in. So he gets his own rebounds on the right wing. Flash into the front court. Russ hangs in the air, got to get some help. And it was just a bad pass, although DJ was a little late. And Dort throws it down, defense to offense. And they were cruising. That's the word you just used. And we thought they were going to put up 80-plus in that first half. All of a sudden, OKC, led by Dort's nine in the quarter, are back to within single digits. Seven and a half to play, third quarter. Bradley in the game, shoots and hits a three. Yes, sir. Also outscoring the Lakers, double them up here in the quarter. 18 to 9. There's Davis Stu, alone on the wing. One on one. Baisley trying to guard a Bradley. Is he going to continue being hot? Yes, he is. Avery reached 100 points one time this year. They've allowed the opposition to go over the century mark every time, every game. This is one of the reasons why I said hold them to their average of about 94. Not it's going to take yep. a monumental effort defensively now. He'll just Alexander. Back to 10. Shea. That came to OKC in 2019. Career points per game has gone up every year. That's exactly what you want to see. And he has reached a 24-point a game level last year. Led this team in points and assists. Here comes Rondo, who's a plus 17 in the game. If you follow that stat at all, easily number one for the Lakers tonight. Also Carmelo. So good things have happened when Rajan on the floor this evening. 5.40 to play, third quarter. Lakers led by as many as 26. If you're just getting in and tuning in. Rondo thought about the lob to Malik Monk. AD mid-range magic for number three, the brow. Derek Favors looked over at the coach and said, hey, what do you want me to do? <laughs> and they probably looked at him and said, you're doing the best you can. You don't expect a ton. 
again, Westbrook, who's out of the game, is a rebound away from a triple double. They're getting, they're getting hot. They've already gotten hot. <laughs> That's Ty Jerome. So everybody getting in and joining in the party for Oklahoma City now. Ooh, Rondo. Might have hurt his foot. Yes, he tweaked something. Yeah. All of a sudden, he's backpedaling and he's hurt. Bradley. He needs to be substituted for it. Yeah, he's, he's gimpy. He might have rolled the ankle. Jerome. And they're going to get Reeves in very quickly for him. Baisley comes out the other side. Going to attack AD. Boy, that's a challenge. Going up against Anthony Davis. Traveled with it. Give the man credit for trying to go up against AD. And it wasn't a bad move by no. Bayes. You go in, stop, and do your pivot. As we get another look at Rondo tweaking the ankle. You see it rolled over oh. right there. And there's no question. It rolled. Hey, Rick. You might have seen the, the last of Rajon. He's trying to walk it off and keep it loose. So Austin Reeves, we just chatted with his father, Michael Trudell, great interview with him. We're coming back here to Oklahoma. What a basketball family that is. So let's see how he does.